Introduction The 3500 series engine is a diesel engine with a four-stroke cycle. It has a 60-degree V angle between the cylinders of the block. The cylinder bore is 170 mm and the piston stroke is 190 mm. Each cylinder has approximately 4,310 cu. <laughs> Standard engine rotation is counterclockwise. The 3516V engine is equipped with MEUI fuel system. In this video tutorial we'll explain about the MEUI fuel system. High injection pressures promote complete combustion and lower exhaust emissions. Pushing the fuel through the orifice holes in the nozzle tip causes the fuel to atomize into droplets in the combustion chamber. Fuel droplets burn from the outside in to the center. Large droplets take longer to burn and may not have time to burn completely during a normal combustion cycle. Increasing the pressure of the fuel through the orifice holes creates smaller droplets. In turn, smaller droplets burn more completely. There are four stages in the operation of the MEUI. Pre-injection, injection, end of injection, and fill. The first stage, pre-injection, starts with the plunger and tappet at the top of their stroke. The plunger cavity is full of fuel the poppet in the cartridge is open, and the nozzle check is closed. Fuel leaves the plunger cavity when the rocker arm pushes down on the tappet and plunger. Fuel blocked by the closed nozzle check flows past the open poppet to the fuel supply passage in the cylinder head. As long as the solenoid on the cartridge valve is not energized, the poppet remains open and the fuel from the plunger cavity continues flowing into the fuel supply passage. To start injection, the ECM sends a current to the solenoid on the cartridge valve. The solenoid creates a magnetic field which attracts the armature. When the solenoid is energized, the armature lifts the poppet until it contacts the poppet seat. Once the poppet closes, the flow path for the fuel leaving the plunger cavity is blocked. As fuel continues out of the plunger cavity, pressure builds very rapidly. The poppet transfers this pressure through the plunger cavity to the nozzle assembly. When fuel pressure reaches approximately 38 megapascals, or 5,500 psi, the nozzle check lifts off its seat and the fuel flows out the tip. This is the start of injection. Injection pressure continues to build very rapidly until the same volume of fuel pumping out of the plunger cavity sprays from the tip. Injection occurs as long as the plunger continues to move down and the energized solenoid holds the poppet closed. When it decides that injection should end, the ECM stops current flow to the solenoid. This collapses the magnetic field holding the poppet closed. Spring and flow forces open the poppet almost instantly. High pressure fuel can now flow around the open poppet and into the fuel supply passage. With fuel injection pressures approaching 152 megapascals or 22,000 psi, the velocity of the fuel flowing around the poppet into the 420 kilopascals or 60 psi fuel supply passage is very high. This results in a rapid drop in injection pressure. When injection pressure falls to about 21 megapascals, or 3,000 psi, the nozzle check closes and injection stops. This is end of injection. The extremely fast pressure drop from peak injection to end of injection reduces particulate emissions and is an important benefit of MEUI. Let's review the operation of the cartridge valve, which is the heart of the MEUI injector. In order to perform correctly, this valve must be able to open and close almost instantly, seal injection pressures of 152 megapascals or 22,000 psi, 
and to prevent leakage of high-pressure fuel during injection. Containing these elevated injection pressures without leakage requires extraordinary manufacturing precision and tolerances. Any high-pressure fuel leaking past the poppet during injection is not delivered to the combustion chamber. The poppet valve opens and closes more than half a billion times during its normal wear life. The ability of the valve to function properly after hundreds of millions of cycles requires more than quality design and manufacturing. This level of durability requires proper fuel filtration to remove microscopic abrasive particles contained in the fuel. Abrasive particles smaller than 10 microns in diameter can cause accelerated wear in any high-pressure fuel system. That is why much finer filtration is being used on modern engines with high-pressure fuel systems. The difference between normal wear and excessive wear on a poppet valve seat illustrates the importance of proper filtration. On the left, you see a poppet valve seat with normal wear after extended use. Notice the condition of the sealing band on the poppet seat. While some wear is present from continued exposure to high pressure fuel, the sealing band is still in good condition and providing a positive seal. The condition of the sealing band on the worn poppet is the result of abrasive damage from inadequate filtration. The damage to the sealing band 